Buenos días. ¿Cómo están mis amores? Right now I don't have any makeup on. Right now I don't have any makeup on because I'm about to do my makeup. I have my makeup bag right here. We're on our way to my doctor's appointment. I'm gonna do my makeup real quick and pretty much give you guys a little quick update before we get there. Um, let me just dame una manita de gato. All right, so real quick, I did my makeup like super fast. Um, so you guys, today I am now 39 weeks and one day. <gasps> Yay! We have finally made it to 39 weeks and I'm just so blessed that I'm able to, you know, still continue being pregnant here, trying to grow my baby girl to be as healthy as possible. <sighs> but today, like I said, mile. Take exit. so today we are going to see my doctor because she's going to be checking how I'm progressing, if I've dilated more, if my cervix, you know, has thinned out a little bit more. So last week I was 38 weeks and one day and I was 50% thinned out and only one centimeter dilated. So I'm, I'm praying that today she tells me good news that I've progressed and made some progress. I'm just hoping I have because I have been getting more contractions this past week um, and I started eating pineapple I didn't want to do it before because of the fact that like I still wanted to see what my body would do on its own but I have started eating pineapple because one I love pineapple and I was kind of stopping myself from eating it just because of the fact that like you know I didn't want to go into preterm labor or any of that so I did start incorporating pineapple into my diet as a snack. I switched it off for the apple with peanut butter. Um, but yeah, so I'm just so excited to see what they're gonna tell me, you guys. <sighs> I couldn't sleep last night because I was like so excited. But then again, I was getting contractions too, so I was like, Ugh. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm just, I'm just gonna go so. <gasps> I'm just gonna go see what they tell me right now. Hi, daily. 39 weeks. We're coming back. My, my belly button definitely popped out by a lot. Mm hmm. Like a lot. Se ve bien bonita, bien embarazada. Thank you. Oh, I gotta hurry up. Buenos días, mi amor. <laughs> Buenos días, princesa She's hermosa. She's so active this morning. Nervous, eh? A little. I'm just excited. <laughs> you? Yeah, I'm just gonna have <laughs> Okay, hi! Well, what do I need to know? Anything? Um, more contractions. More? Yeah. More than last year, okay. Last um, week, not last year. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I noticed that since yesterday, every time I, I haven't consumed more water than what I normally do. Okay. I always do the same amount, but I've noticed that I'm peeing so much more. Hmm. Okay. Like, waterfalls. Okay. There's, um, nothing bad about that. Okay. Not like, not like you broke your bag of water, though. No. Not all at once and you stop. This is like through the whole yeah. day. I'm just peeing. Every okay. time I go. To okay. The okay. Okay. It's okay. And, um. Okay. Did you ever think, were you getting close to coming in? Yeah. Were you this week? Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. last night. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. I'll yeah, because I started like feeling the contractions, but then they stopped. Okay. Okay. So I'm like, oh, hopefully it's doing something, but. Well, let me listen and measure and see. Okay. And the fluid was a little bit more this time, but not abnormal. Yeah. Still normal. So. I was just curious. Okay. Yeah. So that 14 might have been a little false. Well, it's 19. Probably not enough to look it up. So, 20 and above is abnormal. 19 is absolutely normal for them. Getting bigger. Is it still 41? It's not. It's 43. It's 43? Oh my god. It's 43. It's 43. You look bigger to me than last, than last week. Man, 
the wrong side? I think I am. And the movement's been okay? Yeah. Okay, good. Heartbeat sounds perfect. Let's, go. Let's just check you and think larger numbers. You're pretty good. Well, I was pretty happy with one last time, so let's see if those contractions are doing anything. Come up here and push down a little bit, see what you're doing now. Well, you have thinned out a little bit. You're still one. I'm still touching the baby's head. The baby seems a little lower. Um, bag of water is right there. Maybe a little, maybe, maybe a little looser. Um, no blood today. So, um, finally stopped. Yeah. So I'm going to call you, you're kind of a loose one. You're not quite, you're not two, but you're a loose one. But the thickness called the effacement, you were 50% thinned out, like to there. Now it's even more. You're about 70% um, thin down. So you have made change. Okay. Okay? And I can feel the bag of water more. Things feel different from last week. All right, you guys. So we just got out of the office. So like you guys heard, I'm a loose one. So it's like 1.5, almost 2, but not quite there yet. But what I'm excited about is that my cervix has gone up to 70% thinned out now which for me I don't know why but that I, that gets me more excited about the whole cervix just because you can dilate but your cervix can be stuck at the same you know size or whatever or like length what is it yeah right mm -hmm. <laughs> um so for me that's even more excited because once the contractions start that's when you start to dilate so I'm just happy that you know my body on its own right now is just thinning out the cervix so 70% you guys way more closer to having it completely being thinned out and then finally hopefully once the contractions hit back to back and I go into labor obviously I'm gonna start to dilate so yay! I'm just so excited about that and my baby's doing fine the heartbeat's still great so yeah and she's lower which I had told you huh I was like dude I really feel her so much more lower I felt like so much more pressure this past week um, and I don't know I could just feel it you know so like I kept telling him like I think she's lower than what she used to be um, because if you guys know my belly had dropped what how long has it been that she's dropped it's been weeks already yeah, no? I don't know but it's been weeks yeah, I mean, you guys noticed it because of my Instagram, like the pictures, the belly progress pictures and like everything. But this time I swear, like I really felt her like way more lower. And I was like, it's like more uncomfortable to like get on the bed and get off of bed and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm so happy that she did tell me and confirm that, you know, she is a lot more lower. So yeah, we are progressing, you guys. I'm just so excited. I hope this is the week that we get to meet our baby girl. Um, lots of people think that she might be coming on the 30th. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Do you think so? It would be so crazy, such a big coincidence. A lot of people actually did tell me it wouldn't be a coincidence, it would be a blessing, which I do agree. So, that, oh my god, I would be so excited if she did come on the 30th because that would be so crazy. <laughs> um, but oh my god, this morning, you guys, like, she's been really active, like, moving crazy. Like, I'm not even kidding, huh? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. So she keeps moving right now, making me feel a little uncomfortable, but I'm losing my breath <laughs> from talking and talking. <laughs> Anyways, let, let, we're going to go home and um, yeah, we'll see how, how my baby girl progresses this whole entire week. <laughs> okay, but I do have another exciting um, little package here. This one is from Bows and Arrows Headbands and... 
she is going to have some of the cutest bows because I see some prints here that I love. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> Isn't it cute, babe? Thank you, Oh my god, and they have another pink one. <gasps> you guys know I'm so obsessed with pink right now. Um, and I see another one because I saw this one. So this one is it looks like it's more um ribbed and this one is solid. Oh my god, these look extremely soft. Ooh, we have a polka dot one. And we have this velvet burgundy. This is gonna be perfect right now because obviously with Thanksgiving coming up and all. Then we have this striped black and white. And we also have this like, uh, I wanna say it's kind of like yellow green bow. Also cute for fall. Oh my god, thank you so much to Bows and Arrows. They also left a little note right here. Oh, it says, best of luck as the big day approaches. We hope you have, you love these bows. You can share the code Birdie. Oh, they gave me a coupon code. You can share your code Birdie for a discount for your followers if you would like. We will be in touch soon. Enjoy your sweet baby. Oh. It's so sweet. So I guess I have a code with them now, guys. If you guys would like to use it, it's Birdie. Oh my god. It makes me so excited. <laughs> hola, hola. Hello. So we're going to walk. Yes. Para que la ayude. Ah, check it out. Hopefully. Y a ti. Yeah. But on our way back, we're going to go on the other side where it goes uphill. I know. <laughs> Are you Well, they say that it helps when you're going uphill. Oh, it's Yeah. But I was going to walk for a while. I know, I forgot to tell you that I was trying to get upside down. Because even this little like thing right here, where we're walking right now, it's a little bit uphill, but it's not like crazy. It's like our house, huh? Like... Um, I think that our house is a little bit more than that. Oh, really? Yeah. But well. I'm going to see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see Time how it works. Five. Buenos dias. Today it's Halloween. And I am here in bed with my baby. Dude, I am so spantando because I'm still enfermed. Same. I was getting scared. I was like, please don't get sick. You're going to get sick. You're going to get sick. You're going to get sick. He was like doing the most, you guys, like to try and get better. So he took some Advil and he made himself a tea of the queda. Este manzanilla con limón y este honey. Miel. Yeah. So I was like, oh my god, please do not get sick. <laughs> like, take the pills, take drink your tea. And hopefully you feel good. <laughs> and I think you woke up a little better, right? No, mil veces mejor. But your voice still sounds different. Yeah. I feel like it looks... I mean, I feel like it looks... I feel like it sounds still a little deep. Maybe because you just woke up? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Clear it up. <laughs> um... Today is Halloween, you guys. I, I feel like dressing up today. I don't know why. I have like a, a like not like a full on costume, obviously, because I don't think nothing's gonna fit. Vamos a llevar a little Valentina a agarrar dulces. They're gonna be like, "Where's the child?" Está cocinando todavía. Um, I have this like sweater. From Fashion Nova, that's like a little cheetah print. So I'm kind of like, maybe I should just be a little cheetah. You know? Just do a little like, you know, whiskers and all. Put the ears on. I have the ears. <laughs> so, maybe I will do that. But today I have an appointment, you guys. I have an appointment to get my baby monitored and my contractions monitored. Um... I don't think I have taken you guys with us on our monitoring appointments, huh? No. I've been getting them since I was 37 weeks, right? Mm hmm I am now going on to be 40 weeks on Sunday. Um, today's Thursday. 
So every week, ever since I turned 37, they've been monitoring me because of the fact that I carry a little extra fluid. It had gone down at 38 weeks, right? 37, no? At 37, then at 14, at 38, then at 60. Oh, yeah, it went up. 19. It went up again. So they're going to check it again today. Make sure that my baby is not stressed. Make sure that she is doing good. And that my contractions, um, when I do get them, that my baby is not stressed about them. So far, she has been doing really good. When I get my contractions, it's like she doesn't even care. <laughs> So, we're hoping that today, again, everything looks normal and that she's still in great position. For the past three weeks um, that I've been getting monitored, um, they say that, you know, she is practicing her breathing, that she is exactly how she needs to be. So, hopefully nothing has changed. I'm pretty sure nothing has changed because I feel like she's still the same <laughs> and she's still moving the same. So, yeah, if anything, I mean, it's just my contractions keep getting stronger and stronger. I was just telling my, my baby last night that one of them woke me up and I was like, oh my God, what is this? And I was telling him, like, how the fuck am I going to survive this? <laughs> like, when it's like real actual, like, labor contractions because that one was painful. When I woke up, I was like, oh my God, like, what is this? But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I managed to go back to sleep, honestly. But, I mean, they went away, as always. So, I just went back to sleep. But, yeah, I do remember, like, in my head, like, thinking, like, how the fuck am I going to survive this? Like, how? <laughs> I kind of didn't vlog the last couple days just because there's, like, not much to update, honestly. Um... Yesterday, I did have, like, a pretty rough day because I didn't sleep at all. The night before, I had to get up so many times to the bathroom, like, so many times, you guys. And my stomach was hurting. Like, it wasn't because of just contractions, but it was just also just hurting. I don't know why. I don't know if it had to do something with something I ate or something, but it was just in pain. Like... It was just an annoying pain that was just there. So, I don't know what that was about. Um, it could be because I was still going to the bathroom a lot. You're still sneezing. I know. Alright guys, so this is the leopard sweater. It's not even cheetah, it's leopard. <laughs> but, uh, it's so cute. It's really soft and warm. Perfect right now because it's hella cold. So I'm going to wear it with just some black leggings. And just draw on my nose and my little whiskers and then put my little ears on. <laughs> and that's it. But this is the sweater. It's so comfortable and cute. By the way guys, we are going to also do our little altar here. Uh, my mom got these flowers. And then she has some bread here con bolillo and some sugar skulls. We're going to be putting up our pictures soon. I think it's tonight when I think she said that she wanted to make this all pretty and cute. Ay, con todo. Alright guys, so I'm in the middle of this. <laughs> and I just realized because I was looking at pictures of um, a leopard. They all have white whiskers. They're not black. So I'm like, oh fuck. And so, yeah, I don't know what to do. So I think I'm just going to do the line and just line my top lip. And then do like the little puntitos on the side and call it a day. Because I don't feel like doing my my eyes because of the fact that I have the falsies. And then it's hard to take off the makeup. <sighs> and I don't have a lot of time anymore. So I am just I think I'm just going to do that. But here's the sweater. This is my little belly. So it's right there. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm just going to do that real quick. And right now I'm using the new um, eyeliner from... Hall's Laboratories. Okay. This shit's so precise, you guys. Like, not even a joke. <laughs> it's so good. Alright, guys. So, here's my makeup. I honestly don't, don't even know how I found it in me to really do my makeup today. Because yesterday, si, si me hubieran preguntado, like, are you going to do your makeup? I would have said, hell no. Huh? Uh -huh. Oh, my God. But, 
um, it was funny because when I was trying to do like the lips and all that, I was telling him like, stop walking because you're moving the floor. And it turns out it was my hand shaking. <laughs> Because he stopped. He was like, I'd rather just stand right here right now. And then I was like, why is it still moving? And it was my hands shaking. Because I was like nervous to fuck it up. <laughs> but I like the way it turned out. Even though I don't, I didn't do much to the eyes. Like the, the wing liner, you know, like the cat eye and all. But at least you can tell what I am. If not, they will. <laughs> at least I tried, you know? Um, I also figured that the ears, I would have just, I just ended up putting these black ones. I did have some that were like leopard print, but they don't match with my sweater because the little print on the, on the ears are a little more tinier than what these are. I don't know, it just look really off, right? Sí. And the brown ones are kind of like a different brown too. Yeah, otro color. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? Let me just put the black ears. Whatever. I'm kind of like half cat, half leopard, whatever. Um, but yeah, anyways, we're on our way to my appointment. I'm not gonna lie. I started getting a little bit of contractions, like mild ones, but I was just like, oh, I already feel like I'm on my period again. So um, we'll see. I started feeling uncomfortable. Ay, 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 mi gatita. <laughs> Hello, Hello. 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 Gatita, I'm not a gatita. No, tú quieres. Oh, okay. <laughs> es una especie única <laughs> en peligro de extinción. Si le gusta. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. If she likes Pero it or she loves it. But Lolo se empieza a mover siempre con esto. It's just my belly is getting really hard. Ay, wey. Pero look at my belly, you guys. Oh my god. So por aquí están sus, pe sus pies. Yeah, and then this is her stomach now. I'm like, huh, okay, so she's definitely been moving, huh? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. <sighs> My belly's really hard right now. All right, so we are done. So the update is that my water is 25 point what? Point two, I would say. Something like that. They don't want it to go above 25. But if it does, they say it's still okay because I'm literally just around the corner of my due date. Like literally in a three days, right? Uh -huh. But um, we won't be okay if, it's, if it gets to like 30. So if it gets to 30, they would have to see me like even more more times. So, two times. Two times. Yeah, two times. Plus on top of like seeing my actual doctor. Um, but I mean, so far, baby girl... You know, Jalen is doing great. She is still how she's supposed to be. Masculista. And yeah, I am contracting. Because um, I had like two when I was sitting there. Um, I do feel them now. Este, but it's not like they're painful or they're I'm like intense. intense. How they are supposed to be. Like... Um, like they just make me feel like, ugh, like you know like I'm getting a period cramp yeah but um, they're not like painful to the point that I'm like oh my god like what the fuck is this you know or like anything like that 
Wow, these are really nice. Um, so yeah, every, I mean, so far everything looks great. I don't even think they want to, they were kind of like, I think you're going to get birth off. Yeah. They told me that um, for what I am right now, I am perfect, I guess, in their book. Um, I am at a great start being 70% effaced and a loose one. Um, Cause they said that if I was high and completely closed and you know, they, they might be a little worried, but it's because I am progressing and hopefully this week I have been progressing with the contractions um, cause this was on Monday. So now that it's Thursday um, and I've been having all these contractions, hopefully I am having some progress this week, which I really do feel because the contractions have been really hitting me harder, huh? I was like, what the fuck? What? Oh, they're just like decorative. Uh -huh. Yeah, probably for Halloween, huh? Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much the update, you guys. I am still pregnant and doing great. <laughs> I'm progressing fine. And honestly, I know so many people keep telling me what to do, like as far as like what to, you know, do and eat or drink, but. I'm not at 40 weeks yet. Once I reach 40 weeks, maybe, I don't know, I might do a few other extra things. Um, but for right now, I'm just literally still doing what I normally always do, and that is just going on normal walks. If I feel like having sex, we have sex, you know? Like, um, if I feel like eating pineapple, because obviously I love pineapple with tahini, like, I'll eat the pineapple. But as far as every other method that to naturally induce yourself at home, like it's like I'm not I don't wanna put that stress on my body or my baby and force her out like when she doesn't wanna come out yet or is not ready. So if my body is not ready at all, I do not wanna put my body I guess you could say in that stress. Um and then have like this like painful labor because of the fact that like I forced this labor to be, to bring it on, you know? That is my fear all the time because of the fact that like I've heard, you know, long painful labors because your body was not ready. So I'm just gonna leave this in God's hands and just let him and Jaylene decide when it's time, when it's ready. I don't wanna put that pressure on me. Um, and I know everybody's so excited just to have her here already and see her and everything like trust us We are more than excited about this like more than anyone, but I Like I said, I just want to take it calm and easy because I've had had meltdowns I'm Not gonna lie because I have felt pressured that I need to have her already and I don't want to be feeling that anymore. I that's that's the reason why I haven't been so active on social media or anything because of, you know, I get all these messages from people telling me what to do, but I don't, I don't, at least I don't want to. And I know so many people are asking me, why haven't I gotten induced? And it's like, because I'm still healthy and my baby is healthy, like there's no reason to get myself induced or to rush it, you know? Like, I'm still not at 40 weeks. Once I'm past 40 weeks, I have one week to decide what I wanna do, basically. Like, you know, get my membrane stripped, or what is it? Like, that's the first step, I think. Um, and then, I mean, there's other methods to induce yourself. So, I don't wanna think about it, um, just because my due date is not until Sunday after Sunday and that once I talk to my doctor and see how much I've progressed this week because she's gonna check me again um, we'll we'll see and decide what we do but for right now no just gonna let it roll see where it takes us <laughs> and just enjoy still being here you know pregnant cuz I'm gonna miss this for sure like <laughs> I am so yeah that's kind of basically the update you guys now we're gonna enjoy today today i do have an appointment to get my nails retouched or 
um, ¿cómo se dice? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say filled in, but like <laughs> get them repainted and everything because of the fact that like it's already been a little past two weeks and um, she had time today so I was like, oh yay. So I'm gonna go get, get them retouched. Um, but pretty much I think that's it, right? We're yeah. just gonna be chilling at home. I'm gonna record my mom and dad's reaction to my Halloween costume. Hi guys. <laughs> my dad's face. <laughs> yeah? Valentin said he's dressing up as a Dodger fan. That's a disgrace. And you said that you would paint <laughs> all right guys just got my nails they look so pretty now <laughs> they look like cleaned and everything but and gracias holly i know thank you holly she gifted me um the refill and everything she said this is my gift <laughs> <laughs> as my um pregnancy so Thank you so much, Holly. You came through. You always come through. No, 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 that's like for wind because right now it's been windy so I'm like I don't know what the heck you know how it's gonna be okay so we're gonna go pants like leggings type of pants and then this like hoodie I, I picked it up because it's pink and black but it's really loose I ordered both in medium and then I also ordered this one that's super soft it looks soft on line. Oh my god, it is. Oh, I think it's this one. Oh my god, and it's pink. So it comes with the leggings. I ordered medium again. Because this material it looks like it stretches. Oh yes, and then this is the hoodie. But it hangs like hiding your belly. So I feel like that would be perfect for me right now. Once I give birth. But... It's just a normal hoodie. This one is called Cutting Corners Legging Set. Yes, this se llama. ¿Cómo se llama este? ¿Qué pedo? ¿Dónde está? Um, not mad at the pants set. So, yep, I ordered these two, but I think I'm gonna take this one because está bien calentito. ¿Y la toca lo más? Aquí sí, está bien calentito. <coughs> so, I'm gonna put that cool. in my hospital bag. <coughs> I'm just gonna wash it and that's it. Alright guys, so remember in the morning I was showing you guys that we were gonna have this already set up. So my mom went ahead and decorated it. Um, that is my two grandpas and then there's my grandma, my dad's mom. And she put a bunch of little things here that they love and they still are going to add more stuff so that way he can add it here oh you guys i want to show you guys this picture because but this is valentin's dad and him when he was just three days old look how much hair he has you guys like valentin was full of hair so i wouldn't be surprised if he's a living baby girl with a lot of hair but that's his dad. I feel like Valentin looks straight up just like his dad. Well, all of it, actually, all of his, you know, siblings. So sisters, y él se parecen mucho a su papá. <coughs> there we go. Alright, so. Oh! Alright, guys, so I'm in bed now. I'm gonna go to sleep. Um, hopefully, next vlog will be me probably giving birth. I don't know. We'll see. Um, 
but if not i will be taking you guys with me on my follow-up appointment which is on monday which is going to be three more days no four more days or no mm -hmm. yeah three more days so we'll see what they tell me in that appointment if i haven't given birth yet but yeah so anyways good night guys and we will see you guys all in the next vlog